If I could go back to 2013, I would find her and take her and sit her down and say thank you. Thank you for not giving up. Even when life felt impossible, thank you for believing just enough to take the first step. You had no idea what was waiting for you on the other side. I would tell her I remember the days waking up exhausted, going to a job that we hated, dreading every single Monday, barely making ends meet, bills piling up, and our babies depending on me, and me feeling like I was running on empty. I wanted more. I needed more. But I didn't know how to get there. She didn't know how to get there. But still, something inside her refused to settle. So she began to write down every dream, even when it felt impossible. She made a vision board, for she needed something visual, something tangible that would remind her of a life that she knows that she can achieve, even though she had no idea on how it would come true. She didn't realize it then, but what she did was planted a seed a seed of what her life would eventually turn out to be. So she finally took the first step and she enrolled in her first data analytics boot camp. Oh, she was terrified. When I tell you she thought that she wasn't smart enough, that she failed, that she'd never make it into tech, but honey, that was just the enemy. That was your imposter syndrome. That was your analysis paralysis keeping you back. But then she had to remember that her kids was watching her and she refused to let them see her quit. So she disappeared for a few months. She studied late in the night. She even sacrificed, she struggled. And even though she still doubted herself a couple hundred times, but she kept going. And to the kids, thank you. Thank you for sacrificing with me for understanding when I had to study, for being my reason to push through the hard times. Yes, the Christmas trees were bare. And even though that was it was bare, you were still grateful. There were times where we had no birthday parties, where we had to celebrate solo. And don't you even dare think that mama didn't blow out a few candles alone herself. But then, oh, but then, it happened. My first job offer, a Fortune 500 company, a salary I once thought was impossible. I cried that day because for the first time, I realized I did it. I paid off all my debt and moved into my dream home that I built from scratch. I bought the car I used to own that only saved pictures of, the Porsche Macan. We also have an Audi in our driveway as well, girl. And now, I work from home. No more commutes, no more stressing about money, just freedom and just peace. All because you didn't quit.